Good morning. It's Bill Quinn and earlier this week I put together a little video to show you how you can take some leaves from your nature strip or in the area and use it to make your own hand sanitizer. I've been doing this for a couple of years and I typically don't use it as a hand sanitizer. I use it for a whole bunch of reasons but in this current environment a lot of people are after it so let's call it that. These have been sitting in water for five days and I've just realized that I'm not gonna show you the pouring process because I did that in the first video, which I trashed because it went to over three minutes. But you understand the process. It's uh, been sitting there for five days and what I've done is I've taken an old bottle of hand wash. I kept it, ripped the labels off and have cleaned it out and just poured this liquid into there. So. What you can do is, I, I have one of those in the bathroom. It's not my preferred option, but in a shared house, that's what we use, rather than the bar of soap. I now have a bar of soap there because I've gone from a bathroom where there's three of us who are potentially using it, down to two. So now I've got the options of bar of soap or the foaming hand wash. I was just about to say foaming mouthwash. You know what? I reckon you could do that but because there's... Nah, let's move on. So, as I mentioned before, I also use the leaves and soak it in oil, and I use it in cooking. But let's get back to the hand sanitizer. So the water's there, it's been drained, uh, poured into there, and then you can just use it. Uh, I'll see if I can do this without... Yep. There we go. And it's got a real nice lemony smell. The last time I did this, I was out at Palmerston for a while, and I made some to take over there and I took the top off and it smelt, it smelt like a men's urinal. I don't know what had gone on there, but this is, this is a little bit foamy still. Maybe it's from the residue from the bottle, uh, but it's got this oh, lovely zesty lemony smell and it makes your skin tingle. And it's not going to be as effective as Oh no, look, I'm not going to get into that because I'm not a botanist. But I saw somebody else on the coronavirus in need site was making their own that had 70% something or other about some of the alcohol. That's great because it's probably going to pack one hell of a wallop. But if you want the alcohol-free version, then this one works, uh, I would say, just as well. But again, don't quote me on any of the find detail the specifics and uh, check local guides and if in doubt seek medical advice but that'll do it for now it's bill quinn from coconut grove saying oh i'm going to take this bottle because uh, i've got so much there i still got stuff there and i'm still going to use the leaves and i've got two more bottles in there plus a bit more i'm going to very mindfully very carefully very cleanly and very fistic fistically fistically physical distancely <laughs> Physical distancely, I'm going to find out somebody in this area who I don't know who could really, really use this. It's Bill Quinn saying, happy hygiene, happy health, happy listening, and I hope you're listening to some great music. Bye now.